In 2.5, we're introducing some awesome new changes and improvements to appointment workflow. Specifically, we've added the ability to edit an appointment or an appointment series at any point in its workflow. We've also revamped scheduling notifications. Now you'll receive summaries instead of individual emails regarding appointment changes. We've also added a few new email types to support the changes we've made to the workflow. Before 2.5, as appointments progress through their statuses, new, broadcasted, accepted, confirmed, and so forth, the various data fields in the create and edit appointment fields were progressively withheld from editing. So let's take a look at a appointment that's currently scheduled. It has an interpreter already confirmed for it. In 2.4, we wouldn't be able to edit practically any of this information, or at least the major stuff. In 2.5, we can. So let's edit some things. Let's do this from business to government federal. Let's say we have a mail preference. And let's change the time. We have this confirmation here, editing critical fields for a scheduled appointment may roll back the appointment status. And that's going to happen with this one. So we click update. And you'll see this appointment goes right back to broadcasted. So what's happening here is because of what we changed, rather sensitive information, this interpreter has to reconfirm, firstly, his, um, if he wants to do this appointment again, because he might not be able to, he might have an external time conflict, he might not feel comfortable with it, you know, there's plenty of reasons why. So he has the ability to do so in the appointment viewer, same as usual, but you can also do it in an email notification. So you'll see here that we have a new kind of email, reconfirm required, which asks you to log into the system and accept it, seen here. So if we do that, it works just as usual, then we can confirm and the scheduled appointment is right back on track. For reoccurring appointments, it gets a bit more complicated. You'll see when I click edit, we get this warning message saying, this is one appointment in a series, what would you like to edit? And we have the option to do entire series, which if the appointment selected is part of a recurring series, and then the changes you make once this option is selected will affect the entire series of appointments. If the appointment selected is part of a recurring series, but some appointment in the series were individually edited before, then selecting this option will affect the rest of the appointments. And just this one is only this specific appointment will be edited. So. Let's go ahead and click non-edited. You know, simple to do, but the effects of this can change a lot. So we've implemented an entire workflow logic to ensure a smooth transition no matter how big the change. If you edit certain major fields, we roll back the appointment status to broadcasted. And this goes for practically every recurring appointment possible that has these changes made to it. So. If I have a scheduled recurring appointment and I decide that I want to change the time of all these appointments, at least the ones that haven't already been individually edited, we get a series updating warning. And furthermore, we have the option, at least, to send a summary email 
to the following roles, LSC admin, requester admin, and requester. And you'll notice that only the interpreter is excluded in this. And that's because out of all these roles, the interpreter is the only one that's not the constant. This information might be irrelevant to the interpreter, or at least they shouldn't know this anymore because the appointment based on what we change might no longer affect them. So let's say we want to send a summary email of all these changes to all those three roles, and we'll see that shortly. But you'll see that the changes take effect. This appointment was rolled back to broadcasted from scheduled, and this goes for every appointment in the series. So the rest of the fields that can roll back status are account, requester, language, service type, communication type, gender, location, date and time, time zone, and duration. The rest of the fields you can edit and you don't have to worry about rolling back the status to broadcast it. If an appointment's been changed and the originally confirmed interpreter is no longer eligible, they'll be informed by a notification through text or email or whatever is set up. Appointment changed, opportunity lost. This and the two other notifications are configurable as an LSC admin under configuration, company, notifications. Configuration, company, notifications. We go to the bottom of the list and we see them here. And they're configurable just like all the other previous options. And let's take a look at those summary emails that we sent out. You'll see that this appointment series was updated and the summary of the changes notes the new times. And there you have it.